So would you like to use Monday for your marketing research? You are in the right place. I'm going to be showing you step by step of how we can get started here into Monday. So hey everybody, the first thing that you want to do once you do have your Monday.com already been opened is to actually focus into start uh, now. So here I'm going to click into my custom language. I'm going to hit into get started. And here I want to set up using a work email or you want to look out for continue or you can sign up with a Google account. So once you have successfully done that, what you want to do is just to focus into what kind of project you want to actually manage. So uh, in my case, I'm going to close this and you're going to be seeing something like this. What you want to do is to actually complete your profile in order to get started. So as you can see, I have completed my setup account. I want to upload a photo. Here I want to upload an image, let's say this one, and I want to just drag and drop like this and hit into crop image. All right, there we go. So now you want to enable the crop not notifications if you are having like multitasked and you are having the Monday application uh, lifted into open. And now we do have the invite team members. If you are working into the marketing stuff, I believe that this could be a really strong decision. So you want to click in here and what you want to do is just to use e different emails so you can implement your team into Monday, into your boards of or workspace of Monday. So for example, I'm going to type example at example.com and this email is going to be sent at the invitation. So if you want not to be members, but just view and read what you are doing so far, you want to choose the option that says viewer. But if you want them to contribute to your actual workspace, you want to leave into member and hit into invite. So lastly, guys, you have the complete profile and the star our mobile app. You can install the Monday application on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer, almost in anywhere. So you can have everything just in one place. Now, as you can see, I am into the dashboard of Monday, into the home page. I can see the recently visit uh, stuffed my inbox. And my workspace. So in order to get started, I can strongly suggest to hit into the work management. And here I have my main workspace. If you don't have anyone, clicking to add workspace. And here, let's say for example that I want to focus into social marketing of the 2023, and you want to leave this into closed. I'm gonna go into the arc workspace, and then we're actually good to get started. Now now that I have a workspace, what I want to do is to create my very first board. So you can create a board by from scratch or from a template. I do love to use templates because uh, they are really, really uh, completed. So uh, what I want to do is to look out for marketing. So what I want to do is to scroll all the way up, look out for all templates. And here I want to look for marketing. This is like this. So once I do have the keyword of marketing, I have 27 search results. For example, the creative assets, email marketing, marketing activities, and onboarding plan by far fetched. So these are just a few elements that you can choose. You can choose the one that best fits for you. In my case, I don't want to look out for the option that says marketing activities, centralized and management all marketing operations in one color place, and I do have different assets. For example, I do have calendar, I have Google Drive, and I do have Zoom. So I think this is more than enough. If you want to create something else, for example, email marketing, I can create another board, and later I can do that. So in my case, I'm just going to look out for the marketing activities. And here you have the marketing operations integrate with all of the sections. So if you think this is more than enough, you can go into use this template and the template is going to be customizable. Now that you have, um, let's say, download this template into your workflow. So we do have the marketing activities and the social marketing. So here, uh, what I want to do is to focus only into one social media. For example, let's say Instagram uh, marketing 2023, of course. So now with that being said, I can just edit my actual main table. I can, let's say, for example, select this week and I have Heida clicked to learn how to use this template. You can go into open and here's going to be appearing the different updates and the description and so on and on. So if you don't want to just uh, delete or actually let's say just to edit those, you can just click the three of them like this and hit into delete. 
like this and hit into got it. Now, if I want to change the actual view into the upper side, I do have main table, I do have calendar view, I do have forms, and I can go and hit into X mark. And the last thing I'm going to hit into plus, because I want to show you something called the boards, but this one is called Kanban, I'm not pretty sure why. But this one is going to be really easy to use. You just need to drag and drop stuff as you are completing tasks, which I think is really, really easy to use, like this. So uh, it's really, really useful to just drag and drop. For me, I believe that this is more accurate than just scratch and scratch and scratch. So uh, I can see different card columns. I can see all of them if I wanted to, or I can just delete this. But here I can just customize my actual uh, board here. For example, I can go into the three dots and I can go into move to, duplicate, copy, add, save item, achieve or delete. If I open this item, it's going to be appearing the full uh, description of my asset. For example, Tom's Health Journey. So let's say that here this is a video about Tom's Health Journey. And since we are into Instagram, I'm going to go and tap to double enter and type into linked. Insert a linked. So let's say that this is a link. I'm going to type Instagram.com. And here the text I want to go for Instagram or let's say Tom Tom's Instagram profile and hit into insert and here as you can see this is how it's going to be appearing I can add an emoji if I wanted to let's say a happy one and here down in here let's say you want to add a gift hit into happy and I can just use whatever I wanted to and hit into update and this is how it's going to be appearing for the rest of my team Right. So as you can see, it's really easy to actually use this template of Monday. Once again, if I want to create something different for only email research or wherever, hit into add and we have different boards. So I can go into choose from templates and here I want to look once again for marketing like this email marketing. So I just saw before hit into use template. And once again, it's the same deal. We just need to wait till this one has been generated and I can just customize whatever I wanted to. So this is my campaign of email uh, marketing in 2023. And here I can just start to work. If you want to add different people into different sections, here you can see we do have the campaign owner, the account, the audience, the goal and the sending date. So let's say that I want to choose audience and I want to delete, let's say, for example, uh, team members. And here I can add uh, whatever I wanted to. So uh, here into the campaign owner, I can invite a new member by mail so I can add more and more and more different roles to my actual team workers. So with that being said, guys, this is the easiest way to get started into Monday. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more amazing tools about this great Monday application. I'll leave you guys with this great application and with 30 days of free trial mode of a Monday Pro down below in the description. So thank you once again for watching this video and I'll see you on the next video.